get on over there. I'm heading to my downloads right now. While that's going on, we're going to go ahead and read through. Apparently the update is about 860 megabytes, which is perfect. That's very, very quick, very, very easy. Let's go ahead and scroll through some of these patch notes. Recommended light level is 390, so if you're already 400, you are ready to rock and roll and jump right into this raid. Um, we're gonna have new weapons, armor, armor ornaments, ghosts, sparrows, shaders, and emblems to discover. Players will receive one Age of Triumph armor ornament token for successful completion of the featured raid, once per week per account. Which means you're not gonna be able to get the full set of ornament gear right off the bat. You're gonna have to work a little bit for it, which um, I think is pretty fair. Thankfully, uh, you don't have to run the raid. Uh, you don't have to run a featured raid on a specific week. Like, you don't have to run it when it's the Vault of Glass week to get the Vault of Glass ornament. The Age of Triumph ornament can be used across all of the raid gear, which is very good. Players will receive the Knuckles of AO by completing a featured raid's opening encounter, once per week per account. Use the Knuckles of AO, uh, then defeat a raid boss in the weekly featured playlist to receive extra rewards. That's pretty cool. Knuckles of AO consumable stack to a maximum of five. So, it, so it's a little bit like... Um, like Siva both key fragments. the Siva key fragments and what you get in King's Fall with the shards that give you extra mm -hmm. rewards at the end. That's but, pretty cool. But, but you have to melee. pop them. But, but you, you have, have to, to pop it. So I it's like, like that. A three of coins mixed with moldering shards. Fixed an issue where one of the door switches on the second Vosik encounter was partially obscured by the wall and See! I told you I didn't miss that door, John! I told you! <laughs> Vindication, baby! I told all you guys on stream I didn't miss that door. Ah! Oh. Okay, so sometimes in Wrath right. of the Machine, when you're on the left-hand side, if you've, if you've ever been the person designated to throw the SIVA charge, you know what I'm talking about. On that oh, front yeah. left-side room, sometimes you can land that SIVA charge right on the door panel, and it still won't activate. Um, Alright, time for the Crucible changes. For the Crucible Director, they've updated the core nodes to cycle between available activities on a weekly cadence. So they're basically, this is when they're talking about, they kind of cut down on the weekly available Crucible playlist to co more centralize the Crucible uh, population. So the weekly feature activity is going to include combined arms, zone control, mayhem clash, mayhem rumble, and doubles. And the classic playlist, ooh, rip, has been removed. Players who do not own Rise of Iron can now access the weekly featured Crucible activity. Okay, so that's good. So for people who don't have the latest DLC, or at least don't own it, um, can now access the weekly Crucible activity, but they're getting rid of classic, which makes me a little bit sad. Every now and again, I like to go into the classic playlist and just sit back and, uh, you know, play on year one maps. It, all, it felt good. But that's a, that, that's a decent change to more centralize the, the Crucible pl or population. For bounties, they've updated the Crucible daily bounties to be more inclusive, no longer requiring specific subclasses or fire teams. There's also new weekly Crucible weapon bounties from the Quartermaster that will grant you specific weapon types. So you can get a bounty that will drop you an Ayas Luna now, which is very, very good. Lord Shax will now offer his weekly bounty for both uh, available 6v6 modes. We know we're going to have a second weekly bounty available for him. Uh, you don't have to complete the mountaintop for that. By the way, they got rid of the mountaintop, so if you never got the uh, the garbage hothead, I don't know, I think they said that's no longer going to be available. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's garbage, you didn't need it anyway. Slightly increased chance for Year 1 and Year 2 armor rewards from Iron Banner matches. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to hear! Year one and year two Iron Banner armor rewards. Sweet, good stuff. Um, the support. What do you mean? What happened? What do you chat? What do what? you mean? What? Support added for Iron Banner Mayhem Clash. I see you, Bungie. I got you, dog. <laughs> I got you, dog. Here's the big one. Health regen. The changes that were reverted were the Suros Legacy perk, No Backup Lands, Ward of Dawn, Apotheosis Veil, and Embrace the Void. So those are all going back to their original effects of restoring your health basically instantly. They all got negatively affected by the Hungering Blade nerf. Uh, next up are the things that are going to keep the recent changes but have increased the amount of health and shield given per kill from 36 to 57. Hungering Blade, Transfusion, Cauterize, Red Death, and Life Steal. Also applies to the Ram. Rip. Increased recovery for Astrocyte Versed. Fix an issue where Rescue Mag perk would replenish ammunition when taking self damage. Oh, yeah, that was cheese, wasn't it? I did not know that was a thing. So here we are in the tower for Age of Triumph. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm not even going to waste any time. We're going to head straight to the vendors and go check out everything that's new with the Age of Triumph. We do have some vendor resets going into effect. Shax, you're going to be able to see his brand new doubled up weekly bounties. It is a hunt for glory and supremacy and taking control 
Okay, so we can confirm that the inf the infinite edge swords are still going to be um, they're still going to be exclusive to people who do the refer a friend quest. Uh, but we do have the new helmet. Well, that's not a new helmet, but we do have the the armor he's selling down here, the helmet, and the arena engram. This is the thing you can buy for five silver dust, and it'll give you armor from previous eras of the Crucible. Earn your honor. Guardian. Our side, what you got for me, baby? Yes. All right, so this should be some new, freshly rolled stuff. Let's check out. Yep, it's different. The palindrome is definitely different. Let's see. This thing's got true sight, iron sight, sure shots. So you got both the aim assist sights there. It has got outlaw, Icarus, both great perks for hand cannons. Still got rifle barrel. Bungie knows what they're doing. Uh, high caliber rounds and reactive reload. This is actually a really good roll. The mixture of outlaw and re or reactive reload is going to make it so that every precision kill you get, you're going to get the super fast reload speed. And reloading after getting a kill is going to give you bonus damage. Reactive reload pairs perfectly with outlaw, and it's still got the rifle barrel there. Worth buying. This is this is worth picking up. You know, if, if now that rangefinder is uh, and and you know the the whole nerf to, to hand cannon range is getting knocked by about three meters, it's not gonna really having the most range is still good. It's not gonna really affect it too much though. But still, it's a really good roll. All right, so we got the zero day dilemma, spray and play, danger close, small bore, appended magazine, and counterbalance. Small bore is actually kind of an underrated perk. The extra range and stability you get is good. Uh, this is going to knock the magazine from 24 down to 20, I want to say. I don't think it goes beneath 20, and that mixed in with counterbalance is going to make that a fairly stable auto rifle. B29 party favor, let's see what we got here. It's got sure shot, that boost aim assist. I have the Storm, Life Support, Perfect Balance, Feather Mag, and Range Finder. So this has got max range and a decent amount of stability. Not bad at all. Hero Formula. This is that high impact scout rifle. Let's see. Range Lens, Zen Moment, Take a Knee. <laughs> Man laid stock. Okay, so it's got the best stability perk you can possibly get on a scout rifle. Armor piercing rounds and reactive reload. Not bad. Reactive reload is just a great perk on basically everything. Each new day. This is actually a pretty good fusion rifle. It's got reflex for improved aim assist. Hip fire, which is great for fusions. Life support. Hand laid stock to max out this gun's stability. Enhanced battery and counterbalance. This is going to be a laser beam. Oh, it's got aggressive ballistics. It's got that ag balls for a little bit of extra impact. Close end or personal, battle runner, hammer forged, quick draw, and final round. Not bad. Anton's rule has got steady hand, fast draw, quick draw, relentless tracker, cascade, hand loaded, lightweight, and hidden hand. Not bad, but it's not, not the Wormwood. <laughs> it's not what the Wormwood had. Yo, an Arc Event Horizon. I think this was solar before. Got Hawkeye, Vutac, Taxus. Underdog, Perfectionist, Explosive Round, Snapshot, and Hidden Hand. Good stuff. Aggressive Ballistics, it gives you a bonus to, eight to your impact. Saw, Smooth Ballistics, Field Choke, Eye of the Storm, Take a Knee, Perfect Balance. And finally, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Let's see, Aggressive Launch, Smart Drift Control. It's got Counter Mass, which gives it a little bit of a Velocity. What happened? Uh, nothing. Auto Runner, Danger Close. Uh, just leave it alone, because it, it froze like that for me, too. Once it's once the download itself starts, it'll be really quick. Battle Runner, Field Scout, Grenades and Horseshoes. That's that's not bad at all. And these are the new bounties, and as you can see, they all reward legendary weapons now. Primaries have another entire section. This is going to be the section for all of the Elemental Raid Primaries. All right, so we got the Extremophile 101 at Dead Orbit. This thing's got uh, Red.ORA, Steady Hand, OEG, Extended Mag, Snapshot, Ember Forge, Spray and Play, Hidden Hand. That could use a little bit more stability. Extended Mag, Snapshot, Hammer Forge, Triple Tap, Firefly. Not bad. Triple Tap, Firefly, Extended Mag. That's like perfect for PvE. This is the <laughs> exact role that the Hung Jiri had way back in the Taken King. So if you're a PvE guy, you like scout rifles, pick this one up. This is the high impact scout. Worlds to come. It's got Reflex for the aim assist, Enhanced Battery, Lightweight, Hammer Forge, Unflinching, Eye of the Storm. Not bad. You could use probably a little bit more range on it though. Uh, last Ditch, this is a full auto roll, CQB, Soft Ballistics, Extended Mag, Snapshot, Small Bore, Cascade, and Full Auto, that's a PvE shotty. This thing has got Sightsys, Longview, Taxis, distinct lack of a short gauge in the ambush. High Caliber, Lightweight, Small Bore, Life Support, Hidden Hand. Unto Dust, this is usually a garbage rocket, and it is, at least it's got grenades, oh, it's got tripod grenades and horseshoes, Bungie, you trolling. Why are you taking <laughs> bad rockets and giving them good rolls? I don't know, it's got focus fire, close end or personal, perfect balance, feather mag, persistence, ooh, mm, perfect balance persistence is really good for auto rifles. 
Uh, Parthian Shot, my baby, what have you got? It's got the improved aim assist with Reflex. Outlaw, Partial Refund, Braced Frame, Feather Mag, Rangefinder. This is a fantastic roll of the Parthian Shot. If you like the high impact pulse rifles, this thing hits like a truck. It's super duper stable. With this roll, it's going to have basically the maximum amount of stability that this thing can have. Occam's Razor, this is a fantastic PvE shotgun. Uh, it's got Smooth Ballistics, CQB Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, Cascade, Army of One, Small Bore, Perfect Balance, and Full Auto. This is pretty good. Full Auto and uh, Perfect Balance mixed in with the muzzle options you have here is going to give you a lot of stability. And Disassembly Required. I already see Grenades and Horseshoes. Warhead Veneers, Linear Compensator, Vacuum, Army of One, Snapshot, Javelin, Grenades and Horseshoes. That's pretty good. Javelin and Grenades and Horseshoes gives you extra velocity and the proximity detonations. Alright, the whale. First up, steady hand, fast draw, quick draw, explosive rounds, lightweight, perfect balance, relentless tracker, firefly, that's pretty good. Uh, could use a little bit more range. Waltz, reflex, sure shot, that's good, aim assist. High caliber, lightweight, hammer forged, outlaw, counterbalance. That's, that's going to be pretty stable, it's going to have outlaw. The waiting, it's got uh, MD reflex, accelerated coils, hip fire, small bore, Unflinching and Eye of the Storm. That's going to be a very stable version of that gun. The Wounded! I like this scout rifle. Let's see. Extended mags. Full auto. Small bore. Outlaw. Hidden hand. Mm. This might be pretty darn good for PvE. You've got that full auto. It's going to be a difficult choice because you've got your choice of full auto or extended mag. Full auto mixed in with uh, Outlaw and Hidden Hand. That's really, really good. You guys are waiting for it. The Wormwood. Let's go. True Sight, Sure Shot, of course. Quick Draw, Flared Magwell, Hip Fire, Fitted Stock, oh, no. Relentless Tracker, Reactive Reload. <laughs> Still a good Wormwood. Uh, Deposition is going to have Sights. This. Hey, the first sniper with Ambush. High Cal, Snapshot, Small Bore, Triple Tap, Firefly, Triple Tap, Firefly, not bad at all. Guardian, you are our protector, our champion, our legend. I have faith that you will turn the tide that rises against humanity. I got you, dog. 